In the past couple weeks, the photography community has been up in arms about recent changes to terms of use policies from both Meta, which most notably is made up of Facebook and Instagram, as well as Adobe, which is the maker of the Creative Cloud suite of apps that's ever popular amongst photographers and other kinds of creators. Recent changes state that these companies can utilize your posts and creations to train their AI model. The opinion on whether this is something you need to worry about or not varies from person to person. Hopefully this video is going to give you a more more informed view of the issue at hand to make a decision yourself. I'm Austin James Jackson, professional photographer based in Utah. This week's video is going to be a little bit different than the usual in field or post processing video. I'm going to start off by covering the facts about the changes to the terms for both Adobe and Meta, and then later in the video, I'll get to my opinion on the subject. Let's start off first with Meta, which is the parent company of two of the most popular social media apps in the world, Facebook and Instagram. Starting on June 26, the new privacy policy of Meta will allow the company to take user data from as far back as 2007 and use this data to train and improve AI tools for Meta, the company itself. At this point in time, there's no way to opt out, despite many people thinking that a copy and paste message that they could post on their story or on one of their posts would allow them to opt out. That's not true. So don't bother posting that message. As of the making of this video in June 2024, only users that are in the European Union as well as Illinois can opt out due to AI protection laws in those areas. I'm not aware of any other places in the world where you can uh, opt out. Many creators are really upset about their work being harvested in a way to improve AI tools for Meta. As with many of the other recent policy changes to Instagram and Facebook, makers of other apps have seized this opportunity to promote their apps, claiming to never take your data. The latest app that I've seen a lot of photographers jumping on is called Kara or Kara. The founder of the Kara app, Jingha Zhang, claimed that the app has grown from 40,000 users to 650,000 in the past week alone. By the time this video comes out, that number will probably be even higher. According to Apple rankings, it was the fifth most downloaded social media app in the App Store at one point. So a variety of other apps on the market aim to be Instagram competitors, but no other app has anywhere close to the amount of active users as Instagram. And who knows what apps have your best interest in mind versus what apps are going to just sell your data or sell your photos to AI companies. Now let's jump to Adobe. A couple weeks back, they announced updated terms of use, which included text stating that clarified that we may access your content through both automated and manual methods, such as for content review. While this wasn't quite as cut and dry as Meta's new terms of use, it certainly sparked criticism and a lot of trust issues for Adobe users, stating that they didn't want their creations to be used to improve Adobe's AI. After substantial backlash on June 10th, Adobe released this blog post with clarifying details. First, they stated how you own all of your own content and that the content will never be used to train any generative AI tool. Second, they noted that they don't train generative AI on customer content. Rather, the generative AI is only trained on a licensed content with permission, as well as public domain content with expired copyright. They also stated that the terms would be simplified in plain English examples, further increasing their transparency to customers. When the Adobe news came out, it spread like wildfire among the community, and we quickly saw headlines about how fast you need to cancel your Adobe subscription. The blog post quickly extinguished the fire for those still following the issue, as Adobe ensured that they would not be using your content. However, the media didn't seem to pick up on the updated blog post as fast as they did um, when the first time the terms came out and people were really upset. Um, so that basically covers the facts about both companies. I'll also add my personal opinion here. Anything after this point in this video will be my opinion. You don't have to accept it, but I'll tell it to you anyways and maybe let you come up with your own opinion. Now regarding Meta, I definitely agree that it sucks to think your content's being used to help improve software that's ultimately going to earn money for Meta, the company. However, you have to understand that Instagram and Facebook is a business. A business needs to make money. The app is free to use. It has 2.4 billion active users, which allows creators access to get their work in front of thousands of people for no cost. Just because Instagram's free to you does not mean that it's free for the company to run. Just like any other business, they're trying to maximize their profits and pay to keep the lights on. 
Uh, I understand that Meta is looking into improving their AI in order to make money. What it boils down to as a creator is determining if it's worth it for you. If you're so bent out of shape on the whole deal that you decide to leave for another app, that is totally fine. But do understand that you are leaving a lot of engagement and opportunity on the table by leaving one of the most popular social media apps. I certainly don't like it, but as someone trying to grow my business, my hands are tied. I have no choice but to stay on Instagram. Understand also that you're a very small fish in a very large pond. The AI training is going to utilize billions upon billions of images, maybe even trillions of images. And taking just a few of your images down is like taking a cup of water out of the ocean. It's not going to make any difference whatsoever. Regarding other apps, this isn't the first time the photography community has made or tried a mass exodus to another app. Unfortunately, I just don't see another app picking up any steam at this point in time. I don't know if you guys can remember, but a few years ago, a bunch of photographers switched over to using Vero. There was a lot of features that people liked. Unfortunately, regardless of what other photographers do, you need to understand that the general public is on Instagram. They're not on other apps, so it's going to be harder to get engagement and viewership on those other apps. If you don't care about all this, then by all means, delete Instagram, follow the latest social media trend to new apps. Otherwise, my personal opinion is that you're wasting your time and your energy creating new accounts and making more posts on other apps. Do I wish there was a better app than Instagram? Absolutely. However, I just don't think it's realistic that there is going to be one anytime soon. Bottom line here is that yes, it sucks to have your images used in AI improvement, but there really isn't anything that you can do about it other than hoping one day to have AI protection laws. If enough people start to make an issue out of it, AI protection may elevate to be something that you see on your ballot, uh, but I wouldn't really hold your breath at this point. Regarding Adobe updating their terms to clarify, I hope that this gets the attention it deserves. They definitely did the right thing. The media is so quick to jump on a company when they have a good headline and things are misinterpreted and taken out of proportion. And they aren't usually so quick to update their article or post new articles when the company comes out and fixes their mistake like Adobe did. Uh, so my hat's off for them for that. At this point in time, it seems like there's really nothing to worry about when it comes to Adobe and using your data to improve their AI models, in my opinion. Finally, my personal opinion on just the whole AI process um, in just generally. As I mentioned before, it certainly isn't something that I'm for, uh, but at the same time, I don't let the fear of my images being used for AI purposes to prevent me from posting or going about my daily life. I feel like a lot of us have become so consumed by the fact that we feel like we're constantly being the victim of getting something stolen from us. At the end of the day, understand you're a small fish in a massive pond, like I mentioned earlier. Even if Meta is using your images for AI training, there's really no loss for you personally. Uh, it's not like they're taking taking something out of your pocket that you are now losing. You still, of course, own everything when it comes to that image. For me, I honestly just consider it the cost of doing business and operating on a totally free app that can organically bring me millions of views a month for my artwork. Um, I understand that that's just kind of the cost of doing business. I know there will be a lot of you guys telling me that allowing it to happen is going to allow Meta to take further advantage of me in the future, but to be honest, there isn't enough hours in the day for me to spend my time complaining about Meta using my images for AI training when there's really no direct effect on me at this point in time. Love to hear what you guys think about the issue down below in the comments. I know it's a hot topic, so let me know what you think, even if you disagree, um, or if you agree, I'd love to hear that as well. Um, so let me know down below. Hope this video helps you to become more informed about the issue and to have a more informed opinion on the topic. I tried to gather just the facts and get rid of as much opinion as possible in the first part of the video to allow you guys to form your own unique opinion. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.